Hi, I'm Eve Levy with a dash of Eve. And we're two days before Purim, and we all have Purim fever. And we have made so many batches of hamantashen, and we're just going to make one more batch, I think. I shared a, a recipe, my favorite hamantashen recipe, on Facebook like about two weeks ago, just to get everyone in the Purim mood. And it went like so far, it went like, I don't know, I don't know what's considered viral, but 151 people shared it. That means there's like thousands of people that are making hamantashen, eating hamantashen. Why do we even eat and make hamantashen? Everyone that you will ask will tell you the same story. They're going to say it's because of Haman's hat. Haman had a hat that had three sides, three points, like a triangle. That's why we eat these hamantashen. There has to be a better reason. So I heard a beautiful idea from one of my teachers, Rebetzin Shira Smiles from Jerusalem. She gave me this idea that just like a hamantashen has three sides, like a triangle, so too the Jewish people, we, we're divided into three sects. We have Kohen, Levi, and Yisroel. Those are the three sects of Jews. And they all come together because everyone has different missions to, to, to different purposes to bring to the Jewish world. So we have those three sects, just like a triangle, but the middle is the sweet part. And the sweetness lies within every single Jew because the, the middle, the sweetness, it's what we call in Yiddish, the pintala yid. It's like that, that, that spark of holiness, that spark of, of godliness that we all have that's within us all. So when we make our hamantashen and eat our hamantashen, we should think about what we are bringing to the Jewish people, our unique angle that we bring, and the sweetness that we all possess deep within us. Have a wonderful, happy Sameach Purim. Thank you for joining me with a dash of Eve.